everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be reviewing four Japanese sunscreens that I have been testing out over the past two weeks. I have done reviews for 20 over sunscreens now, but I don't think I've ever done a review for Japanese sunscreens, even though they are super popular. And so when YesStyle told me that they are going to have a huge sunscreen sale, I took the opportunity to get my hands on these highly raved Japanese sunscreens so you can see for yourself whether they are worth getting or not. So beginning with the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50, 2019 edition. This is the updated version of the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Gel that claims to be super waterproof, non-sticky, and thanks to the new micro defense formula, it is supposed to be able to give you an even application for an even sun protection. So this is a chemical sunscreen that unfortunately does contain chemical sunscreen ingredients that are harmful to our coral reefs. And so if that is one of your concerns, this is definitely not a coral reef safe sunscreen. Nevertheless, because this is a 100% chemical sunscreen, it doesn't leave any white cast and it's also a broad spectrum sunscreen so it protects against both UVA and UVB rays. So one of the reasons why it took me so long to start trying out Japanese sunscreens even though they are so popular is because most of them contain a huge amount of alcohol. So since alcohol is a really common ingredient in sunscreen, let's take some time to talk about it. So I'm sure by now you should know that alcohol is not exactly a great ingredient for the skin but why do skincare companies to include them in their skincare products especially in sunscreens? Well, that is because alcohol actually do have some benefits when it comes to formulating skincare products, especially sunscreens. So first of all, alcohol is a really cheap ingredient. <laughs> Secondly, it works as a solvent and also a stabilizer for sunscreen filters. Thirdly, it is able to improve the consistency of products, making them more lightweight and pleasant on the skin. And finally, alcohol is an astringent and it's also antimicrobial and so it cleanses and dries out the skin, which is somehow considered beneficial for people with oily skin. So from my experience of using sunscreen with alcohol in them, the biggest instant difference I've noticed is definitely the consistency of the product. Sunscreens with alcohol in them often feel more refreshing and lightweight on the skin, which is what most people prefer as compared to thick and sticky sunscreens that are difficult to blend in and might not even sit well on the makeup. But while it does feel better on the skin, alcohol is very drying, especially if it is the first few ingredients of the product. And for this sunscreen, alcohol is the second ingredient. So in my opinion, you can still use this product. I mean, it's not like the alcohol is gonna kill you or anything, but I would say that you will have to step up your moisturizing game if you insist on using this product for a long period of time. Personally, I find it really lame to hydrate my skin with a skincare product only to dehydrate it again with another skincare product. I feel like a good skincare routine should comprise of products that are all independent good team players. So it should contain products that are able to efficiently and effectively do its own job without causing further problems for other skincare products to fix. Another thing to consider is that your moisturizer might not even be able to undo what the alcohol has done to your skin because you only need a really small amount, maybe like a pea-sized amount of moisturizer, while you need at least a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen on your face every single day. Another thing is people with moderate and severe acne often think that they have acne because their skin is too oily, but oils itself will not cause severe acne, which is why people with dry skin can also have really severe acne. Inflammation is actually the key factor to moderate and severe acne, which is why moderate and severe acne often looks very red and angry and inflamed. One of the common causes of inflammation is dehydration and irritation which is also one of the most common side effects of alcohol and so in my opinion if you have dehydrated or dry skin, sensitive or sensitized skin and of course skin conditions like acne, dermatitis, eczema and rosacea, I believe that sunscreens with a huge amount of alcohol should never be an option for you. Even if I don't have sensitized skin, I still don't love this sunscreen because even though it contains fragrance, it still has a very very strong alcohol scent that is almost like pungent whenever I apply it on. The next sunscreen is one that I have been using the most frequently during the past two weeks and it is the Sunplay Sunblock Baby Milk SPF 34. So this sunscreen is available in four different versions but I chose Baby Milk because I knew that if it's safe for babies, it is safe for sensitive skin. So if you can't already tell from my statement earlier on, this is my favorite sunscreen in today's video because I love that it is alcohol free, fragrance free and oil free and this is also a 100% physical sunscreen that contains zinc oxide that is considered to be reef safe. So one of the downsides of 
physical sunscreen is that it leaves a white cast and so yes the sunscreen does leave a white cast but I find that it's very mild for my medium skin tone and so I actually like how it sort of brightens up my skin tone. Other than that the sunscreen also contains vitamin B5 that is soothing and also hyaluronic acid and glycerin to maintain good hydration levels in the skin. Despite not containing any alcohol the formula is still very pleasant and easy to blend. It is not sticky and because it's so light and oil free I find that I'm able to apply a sufficient amount of the sunscreen on my oily skin without feeling like it's too thick or heavy. So overall I love this sunscreen and I feel like it's able to compete with my all-time favorite the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun because the Purito sunscreen does contain quite a number of fatty alcohols which can sometimes feel too heavy for my oily skin. The next sunscreen is the Shiseido Hara Senka Mineral Water UV Protector SPF 50. This sunscreen contains both chemical and physical sunscreen ingredients including those that are not reef safe. Additionally, alcohol is the fifth ingredient in this sunscreen and I would consider that a sensitizing amount. Even though this sunscreen is fragrance free, it contains orange and so it does have a really mild orange scent but at the same time it also has a really strong alcohol scent. So the highlight of this sunscreen for me is definitely the fact that it contains a silicone based chemical sunscreen ingredient and because of that I feel like it is able to smooth out my skin's texture and it just makes my skin feel so soft and silky. It is not sticky and despite containing zinc oxide it also doesn't leave a white cast. So if I have to pick between these two sunscreens that contain alcohol, I will 100% pick the Harasenka one because it has less alcohol, it is fragrance free, it is also a broad spectrum sunscreen and it just feels really really nice on the skin. Like if this one doesn't contain any alcohol in it, it's probably going to be my favorite sunscreen. The final sunscreen is the Anissa Essence UV Sunscreen Mild Milk for Sensitive Skin SPF 35. So I don't know how to read Japanese so I'm just going to pronounce it as Anissa and hopefully that's correct. But Anissa is a really popular Japanese sunscreen brand and they offer so many different types and versions of sunscreen And while most of them contain alcohol, this one doesn't because it is for sensitive skin And I believe most of their mild milk sunscreen does not contain alcohol so apart from being alcohol free, the sunscreen is also free from fragrances, mineral oils and parabens. The sunscreen also contains both chemical and physical sunscreen ingredients but so far there are no studies to show that the chemical sunscreen ingredient in this will harm our coral reefs. So I find that the sunscreen has a really similar consistency as compared to the Hara Senka UV protector which is smooth and silky because this also contains silicone. But in comparison, I would say that this one is a little bit thicker, a little bit more sticky and a little bit more difficult to blend in but because of that I find that it will work well as a primer. So containing no sensitizing or drying or clogging ingredients, this is my second favorite sunscreen in today's video and the reasons why it is the second and not first is because firstly it is still uncertain that the chemical ingredient will harm our coral reefs. Secondly, uh, this does contain quite a number of emollients and because I have oily skin I just prefer something that is more simple and light like the baby milk. Thirdly, the baby milk contains vitamin B5 and so I like that I can still receive some soothing and healing properties from my sunscreen and lastly like I've mentioned earlier on this sunscreen is a little bit difficult to blend in and so I will recommend that you dot it around your skin before blending it out. Nevertheless this is a great sunscreen and I will recommend it if you're interested to try a sunscreen from the brand Anissa. So those are the four sunscreens that I've tried and I'm really happy with them. As you may or may not know, I've been using the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun for the longest time ever. But after trying out these sunscreens, I honestly prefer some of them because of its lightweight formula. The only thing that I don't quite love about these sunscreens is that you must use a makeup remover to remove them as compared to the Purito sunscreen where I feel like my cleanser itself is able to completely remove it. So if you're interested to try these Japanese sunscreens, now is the time to do it because YesL is having a huge sunscreen sale with up to 80% of their sunscreens and to be honest these sunscreens are not even expensive to begin with so after the sales I guess you can buy like two to three bottles without breaking the bank so as usual all the links will be included in the description box so with that we've come to the end of today's video I hope this video is helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed it I want to thank you so much for watching and also to YesL for sponsoring today's video and I will see you very soon in my next one bye Thank you.